really love my collection, really love my Hermes bags, but I'm feeling like, one, well, I'm feeling like I really want to treat myself to a new bag, but I'm also feeling like I want, I don't want to spend luxury money. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is the 29th of December and I've been good. In my last, well not my last video, but in one of my last videos, my entire handbag collection for 2023. If you haven't already, check that out because if I say so myself, it is a good one. Uh, but I said then I was able to record that at that time because I am not buying any more handbags at all for 2023. And so far, I have stuck to it. It's the 29th of December. I shall continue to stick to it. Uh, I'm not sure how long for, but we've got Mr. Beagle with us now. Oopsies. Okay, well, that was a near disaster of me showing you Mr. Beagle. Hello, Paige. Wanna say hi? Do you want to say hi? Today's video. Bear with, he needs going out. Right, now where was I before I was so badly interrupted by Mr. Beagle wanting to leave the room? So it's nearly his walk time, that's why. So today's video, I'm I'm asking for your help. I'm after some handbag advice. I've got myself a little, I know, first world problems and all that, little handbag dilemma. So those of you that have been following me, if not, please subscribe, trying to get to 5,000 subscribers, blah, 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 please help support the channel. Um, no, seriously, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. For those of you that have been following, you'll notice that I've been getting into my, my creams, my taupes, my, you know, my, my nice colourings. I've been going a bit more neutral. I still love colour and that will come and go, will be more of the summer, but I'm really loving these creams and taupes and different, different sort of beige tones together. I really am enjoying that at the moment. It goes perfectly with Miss Kelly 25 here in all her glory of Natter and Gris Tortorelle. More on that in a minute, but just look at that colour. absolutely adore this colour and then I've also got my little mini Picatin in what's supposed to be like a white but it is really quite genuinely quite creamy which I don't mind at all I think it's gorgeous um, I think both bags go pretty well with this jumper which I got for Christmas by the way that was new Lily Silk, thanks mum and dad. Um, and then I've also got this mini Evelyn in a tube with the indigo strap. Now I love all of these bags and I use all of these bags. I recently, in my last video, unboxed this amazing Calvi duo, again in Natter. So where is my mind at? My mind is at in terms of luxury shopping and luxury handbags, I really genuinely love my collection. I, I probably need to slim it down a tiny bit, but I really love all my bags. I particularly love my Hermes bag. Really love my collection, really love my Hermes bags, but I'm feeling like, well, I'm feeling like I really want to treat myself to a new bag, but I'm also feeling like I want, I don't want to spend luxury money. And it's not just about spending luxury money, which I don't really have at the moment, but it's also about wanting a bag that I'm not gonna worry about so much. Yes, I use all of my bags. I've always said that, I've always used them, but I do use them carefully. And depends on what's going on as to, you know, sometimes if the weather's gonna be, I know it's gonna be torrential, then the MS stay at home. And that's when the Louis Vuitton canvas normally comes out. But I'd like to have something that is just a bit more carefree and is 
nice and nice quality and that's very important to me materials especially is very important to me so i want something that's nice i want something that i like the design i almost want some like some nice soft supple leather um so that my my thoughts on this have led me to Pelen or Pelene, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce, but I've been, I've led to Pelen. And um, in particular, some of the designs. So I started off looking at the Numero Un in the nano size. Really like that. Um, I'm wondering if how it closes in the two bits of the bobbly, the bulbous bits almost indents at the front how that will affect how much fits in the bag. But I am quite liking that. But then what puts me off that slightly is whilst it looks really, really durable, the leather, I don't think it's got that suppleness that I'm after. Now the bag that really took my eye is the Pelen Tonka. And it took my eye in a number of colors. And this is why I need your help. And this is why I've brought these along because basically I think the chalk white is going to be a little bit too stark and grey undertoned for me. I loved the Ecru one with the contrasting strap but I just feel like it's going to be so particularly the mini peekaboo I feel like it's going to be so so similar. But I do absolutely adore the taupe colour as well, which is very reminiscent of this. Um, and also one of the Hermes colours I absolutely love. And I really hope one day to be doing an unboxing and showing it to you is Trench. Trench was the colour that I saw in Evelyn PM in Nice Airport that I couldn't afford to buy and had to leave it. I was devastated. Um, but I didn't have the money and I couldn't think of a way of getting the money in the next 30 minutes to be able to pay for it. So I went without, but I loved it. <laughs> and the man in the shop, the sales in the shop was so nice. Um, but I've always loved trench as a colour. I've always loved Gris Tortorelle as a colour. So I'm wondering if the taupe in the Tonka bag is going to be a good idea. Now I've looked at some reviews online on, on YouTube for the Tonka bag. There aren't millions, but there are enough. Um, I've looked at various Instagram posts. Um, so I, yeah, like I say, I've, I've shared with you on screen what I've been looking at. So help me. Because the other I, the other bag as well that I had my eye on was the Micro Numero Un. Um, and again, Minx for All, Minnie, she has that in the taupe colour. And I do think that the taupe colour looks even nicer when I've seen it on like camera to the website photos. But then obviously, I won't be able to talk about the whole show, but I'm filming on it. I, I wouldn't fit my phone in the micro bag. And I always say, oh, my phone has to fit in every bag I have. And it does. It's partly the reason that I didn't buy the larger size iPhone. I got the regular size because it fits in the Constance, it fits in the Ruli, it fits in the Picatin, it fits in this, it fits in this. Um, so yeah, that was that was one of my reasons. Uh, so do I go? Do I ignore all of that and buy this little micro bag that will take you know a couple of credit cards, my AirPods, a lipstick, car key. Um, I think, I think I'm feeling it, the Tonka. I'm also really loving the way that you've got that magnetic closure and it, it folds over on itself. I'm loving the suppleness of the leather. And I'm also liking the style. It reminds me ever so slightly of the Dior saddlebag. Now I don't own a Dior saddlebag, nearly. I've come very close to buying one a couple of times probably more than a couple of times to be fair but I just I felt awkward wearing it I think I couldn't quite get it right that the strap and the bit wasn't right under my arm or I, I just and that's probably me 
but I just really struggled. And also I found the inside, then I thought, is that space too awkward? Whereas the Tonka bag is reminiscent of it slightly in that it's higher on one side than the other, but the underneath is at least just one slope. And also it's not, if it is a mistake, it's not going to be such an expensive mistake to make. Uh, so that's where I'm at. I'm liking the simplicity of the Tonka. I'm liking those very minimalist styling, minimalist branding, but at the same time, a bit of character with that unusual shape. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking the, the clean lines of it. I'm loving the closure. So I think I'm going to get one. My husband doesn't know this yet, but I think I'm going to buy myself one and I think I'm going to go for it in the taupe, but let me know what you think. Do I go for taupe? Do I go for the ecru? I think those are my, my top two. So I think I've narrowed it down. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Anyone have a Pelen bag? What do you think of it? Are they worth the quality? You know, is, is it, I mean, some people are talking about it, you know, or they're trying to, maybe they're trying to position themselves as a luxury brand. I'm not sure I'd put them in as a luxury brand. I certainly would put them in as a, a what I think is going to be a very high quality and certainly not a cheap brand. Um, I'm not quite sure where that demarcation is. Where is that line between standard bag, luxury bag? For me, I don't think I consider it to be a luxury item. Um, and that's probably down to the price point, but it depends how we define luxury. Um, and I'm not gonna be the one to answer that. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts below on it. Let me know what you think of the brand. If anyone has one has had a bad experience, a good experience, let me know. It all helps me make that balanced opinion. And just, yeah, let me know what you think color-wise. Like I say, this is my existing sort of beigey, creamy collection of bags. And I often talk about competition on this channel. I'm buying something that I think is a different, a different class of bag to these. So I don't think it's that direct competition. I mean, so, I mean sorry, but no bag can compete with my special order, my a la carte, my HSS Kelly 25 in this gorgeous natter color. But it would be nice to have something that's a more carefree alternative because this bag is so, so special to me, I, I can't tell you. I think that the mini peekaboo is going to be somewhat similar in that it's a bit more slouchy. It's still not a slouchy style, it's still quite structured, but I think it's, you know, the, the Palen that I've been looking at, the Tonka is, is, is a bit more relaxed. It still holds its structure, but I think it's a more relaxed shape than this almost, you know, very strict, traditional handbag shape. Um, neither of these are going or anything like that. This is not gonna be a replacement. It seemed to be a, you know, complementary to my current collection. But at the same time, I don't want it so similar that I don't reach for either it or these. I hope that makes some sense. You other handbag crazies are probably with me. Hopefully you are. So that's it. Let me know what your thoughts, let me know what you think I should do. Um, like I say, those are the three bag styles I'm looking at. The Numero Un Nano, the Numero Un Micro, and the Tonka. I also considered the Numero Neuf Mini, but I think the little, from what I've seen online, I think I think the handles are a bit big for what I want, for how I want to wear it. And I think that the opening is also going to be a little bit narrow and maybe slightly annoying. So I'm, I've decided against that. And the other reason on that one is I think the depth of the bag is a bit more. And I think then if I wear it cross body, which is probably how I'm gonna wear this bag, cause I want it to be almost like a, a casual running errands type bag. 
I think that it's going to be a little bit too sticky outy because of the depth. Very technical handbag crossbody term there, sticky outy. But again, hopefully those of you that wear bags and wear them crossbody know exactly what I mean by that. I like a bag, this for example, this mini Evelyn with its slim line here. This makes a brilliant crossbody bag. Brilliant. So look, hang on, I will try and show you. Who knows how this is gonna go. See? Sits just nicely crossbody. So that's what I want, something that sits nicely crossbody. Do take care everybody. I will do another video soon. And again, let me know any ideas. I have got one um, so far that I will look into doing. Take care. Bye-bye.